friends and associates of the Faculty of Health Sciences at UCT. Greetings to all of you. Some of you close to the faculty, some further apart, but to all of you who are part of the faculty and those who may be looking at this video, I greet you in these really troubled times. We are living in ever-changing times. It is a time when the discipline of being a part itself represents the greatest act of social solidarity. I started my tenure as the Dean of the Faculty here at UCT just before the national lockdown commenced. So it was an extremely disorienting period where we were sending people home just as I was starting work. But what is our usually bustling and vibrant campus, I've missed out on. And it turned quickly quiet as staff and students vacated the buildings. A really visceral reminder that it is you, the people of this faculty, of this faculty community, who really make this institution as great as it is. Members of the Department of Medicine have led on international, national, provincial and local platforms in many ways responding to the challenges posed by SARS-CoV-2 infections. Many members sit on advisory councils and operational uh, committees. And in the hospital, we have started a new suite of clinical services that didn't exist before, including a testing center that caters for over 200 visitors a day, new inpatient services, including eight wards that look after patients with COVID-19 disease, as well as contributing to extended services in the critical care areas. We've also produced educational material for the lay public and healthcare workers in multiple languages that have been highly accessed and highly commended. Critically, many members of our department are leading important scientific endeavors to answer important and fundamental clinical questions emanating from COVID-19 disease. Finally, our Knowledge Translation Unit has played a key role not only in developing educational material for healthcare workers, but also in assisting the provincial and national departments of health with their communication strategies by developing posters that were appropriate for every stage of the disease. The School of Public Health and Family Medicine is highly interdisciplinary, and different divisions of our school have been a core part of the COVID-19 response, both in the Western Cape and nationally. On a day-to-day -day basis, our epidemiologists have helped collect, analyze, and understand data on the distribution of SARS-CoV-2 cases. Our public health specialists have been critical to guiding the government's response to prevent the spread of infection, including contact tracing efforts. Our Occupational Medicine Division has led the development of workplace policies to promote safety. And our Division of Family Medicine has coordinated efforts in primary care services, which are really the true front line of healthcare in this country. Shoko is a student-led NPO dedicated to the communities we work with and serve. However, due to the COVID-19 and associated lockdown, we are unable to physically volunteer in our communities and host clinics. Thus, the students brainstormed and came up with different ways we could serve our communities during these uncertain times. We focused on health promotion, a main principle of primary health care. We ran two initiatives, our health promotion soap project where we delivered soap and sanitizers to all of our Shoko communities. The second initiative was our hashtag Be Kind Online social media fundraising campaign, where we raised over 300,000 Rand, which provided sanitation packs and meals to six of our communities. These initiatives also included health education on COVID-19 in three of the South African languages. The IDM is contributing to efforts around the COVID-19 pandemic through research in four different areas. Firstly, uh, investigators in our institute are doing clinical studies that are evaluating therapeutic interventions, that is for the treatment of COVID patients. Secondly, there's a lot of clinical research going on that is aimed at understanding the pathogenesis of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and its interaction and intersection with other infectious agents, particularly HIV and TB. Thirdly, research on tracking the spread of the virus by sequencing strains of the virus that are circulating in our communities. And lastly, but very importantly, there's a lot of research going on on developing and evaluating diagnostics, some of which may in turn impact upon vaccine development. There have been several important learnings. One, the evolving challenges of leading in a time of complexity. Two, 
our sense of interconnectedness and the importance of collaboration to allow us to face the challenges with greater fortitude. And three, there's been a flattening of hierarchies and new ways of working together. And I've seen many of our young people rising to the fore. And four, the development of new communities of practice predicated around common value rather than traditional disciplinary boundaries. And finally, the importance of communication, particularly at this time of great uncertainty and anxiety. In closing, I wish to acknowledge the exceptionally hard-working staff in the Department of Medicine, in other departments, both in the hospital as well as the faculty, working in the front line to bring important changes to our communities. A significant highlight for me during these turbulent times has been seeing the incredible sense of cohesion and teamwork across all the disciplines in the School of Public Health and Family Medicine and in our faculty more broadly in our response to COVID-19. It's been remarkable to see people move quickly out of their traditional academic and clinical silos and be open to different ways of thinking and different approaches to the new challenges that we're facing every day. It's an important reminder of what we're all capable of collectively. These past couple of months, we have learned about the resilience and passion of the Shoko community. Student volunteers, CHWs, Shoko alumni, and more have banded together to face this pandemic. We have seen the positivity and willingness of our community to help out in these difficult times. We have engaged at a more personal level in our communities and worked closely with social distancing, with community members to survive these uncertain times. One of the main lessons that I have learned personally over the past two months is how easily our scientists can overcome historical barriers to collaboration and have shown how they can come together in a spirit of solidarity and collaboration to tackle a common enemy, and that is the SARS-CoV-2 virus. I've also learned that a university such as ours can be remarkably flexible and nimble when it needs to be. The way in which we, the UCT community, have adapted to the new normal is truly inspiring. I want to acknowledge the many people who have worked so hard to create an environment in which it is safe for us to continue to operate as an institution. We cannot estimate the opportunities that arise in a time of crisis. But during this time of crisis, I really do want to thank the UCT faculty community for their courage and bravery, for their compassion and commitment. But I especially want to thank at this time those who work at the various co-faces that the faculty is active in, those who are at increased risk of exposure because of the work that they do, but who willingly do this work in order to protect the safety and the health of our broader communities. I salute you.